We have all seen the new GTA 6 trailer, and the thing that caught the most attention and even made headlines was the jiggle physics. I mean, they do look amazing. So today, I'm going to show you how to recreate those jiggle physics step by step in Unreal Engine 5. I will be also making more videos where I recreate different features from the GTA 6 trailer, so let me know which ones you'd like to see next. With that said, it's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need is a character with 2 or 4 additional bones. In this case, this character has 2 additional bones for the breasts, but I don't have for the glutes. But it doesn't matter because for this tutorial, I will just take the ties and it will be pretty much exactly the same. Now, in order to add additional bones to your characters, you can just take your character and pass it through Blender or any other 3D software and just add it manually. Or you can do this inside of Unreal Engine 5, which I actually have a tutorial on. So I will link it in the description just in case you want to follow that. But in this case, I'm using a free character from Fab, the Unreal Marketplace, which is character creator Nia from Revolution. It is pretty cool, it's a very high quality female character with those additional bones, so it's perfect for us. I will link it in the description just in case you want to use this one as well, but of course you can use your own character. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is in the content browser, right click, go to animation and create a new animation blueprint, okay? In this case, let's find the skeleton of Nia, which in this case is Nia skeleton. Hit create and then avp underscore nia underscore and then something as jiggle physics okay so yes we are creating another animation blueprint because what we can do is add this animation blueprint on top of the other animation blueprint that you have for your locomotion movement walking and all that stuff and it's just a bit more organized okay so open this up and now what we can do is simply right click and add an input pose, okay? This node gets all the information about the other animation blueprint, which has all the movements like walk animations and things like that, okay? And now on here what we can do is simply add the jiggle physics, <laughs> which is very, very easy. So how can we do this? Well, it's very simple. Just right click and add this node, which is the spring controller, okay? The spring controller will allow us to make this additional bones behave like breasts or glutes, and it's going to be super, super cool, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and just connect this together. In this case, it will be like this. Automatically, this node will be added. Just ignore it. It's just passing from local to component and then component to local because this is working on a specific bone, okay? And we want to also go ahead and make sure that we have two spring controllers because we want one for each breast okay so let's select the first one over here and from the spring bone let's just search for breast or whatever the additional bone is named okay let's begin with the left one and let's do exactly the same with the other node so breast r cool so if i now click compile as you can see <laughs> this starts to move a lot also let me go ahead and hide the bones so they're not all over the place if I click on power again you can see that they kind of jiggle too much so let's select both nodes over here and let's change a bit the stiffness and damping okay let's put around 500 for the spring stiffness and for the spring damping let's put around 10 okay now these are values that I've found but of course you can play around to get exactly what you need and also this will change a bit of depending on the character right so let's scroll down and on the filter channels, we only want to do the Z, which is up and down, okay? Trust me, you might think of, oh, it will be actually better if they also went a bit left and right. Well, trust me, it just looks better if we have it on Z. It will also just look less buggy in many situations, okay? Which is up and down. And then last but not least, let's scroll down to here. So just expand the alpha scale bias clamp and you'll see a scale value. For this scale value, you can play around. I like to have 0.5. And now if we hit compile, boom, they move. Now you might think that they move too much, but actually this is just a little test that Unreal Engine does when we compile, okay? Which is a bit stronger than what it needs to be. When we press play, this will be a bit more subtle, okay? And we are actually ready, okay? Let's test our breasts before we go into the glutes, okay? So to do this, just compile and save and close this new 
animation blueprint and just open up the skeletal mesh. In this case is under Nia and then Nia, here it is, okay? This is my skeletal mesh. So if we go to the asset details, which if you don't see them, you can just go to window, asset details, you search for post process. And you can see that we have a post process animation blueprint. Now, what is this? Well, this is just an animation blueprint that is set for a specific skeleton mesh. And we can add things such as this little jiggle effects or any other stuff. This is used for things like, as you can see here, wrinkling or, you know, facial animations and things like that. In this case, we're going to go ahead and change this to our jiggle physics. And that's it. We can save and close because we are good to go. Now, in order to test this, we have to have some sort of gameplay. So what I did was import the third person template. You can just do that by going add feature or content pack blueprint third person add to project. Okay. In my case, I already did it. It's here and I already replaced the character with Nia. So literally what I did was select the mesh and change the mesh to Nia. Okay. Literally that's it. I left the animation blueprint to Quinn, which has all of the movement and locomotion animations. Now make sure that you have disable post process disabled, otherwise the jiggle physics would also disable. And with that said, if we go ahead and open up the third person map and press play, you can see that when I move, we have some jiggle physics. Now they're not very noticeable, but if I jump, that's a bit more. And of course you can customize everything from this animation blueprint. So I could go here, select both of them, and increase or decrease the stiffness. I could put more maybe like 400 and it will be a bit less. I could also scroll down and go to the scale and maybe put this to 0.8. Maybe that's too much, but it's just playing around. There we go. That's a bit more as you, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, you just have to find a balance of what looks good, realistic and, you know, feels good. But yeah, it is looking pretty, pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on into the glutes. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up once again the animation blueprint and let's just get these two nodes, move them to right and make some space because like you guessed, we just need to copy these two nodes and paste them again, but for the two different bones this time. Like I mentioned, if we go into the skeleton view over here and we go to the back side of the character, we can go to bones or hierarchy. As you can see, we don't have two additional bones for the glutes, but we can take the closest ones, which is the tie twist. So if we go back to the animation blueprint. What I can do is select the first one, go to tie. And then in this case, it will be tie twist 01 L for the left one. Then for the second one, it will be tie twist 01 R for the right one. And that's it. Okay. If I compile, as you can see, everything moves, but it's a bit too much. <laughs> it's a bit too much, okay? So first of all, we want to change some things. Go here. Let's put the stiffness to 400. In this one, we need to be a bit more stiff. And then let's scroll down. Let's enable X, Y, and Z, okay, for the translation. Because the glutes are a bit more, you know, let's see, uh, more of a free movement, okay? That's what we want to have. And then if we scroll down... We can change the scale to a bit of a lower value, maybe like 0.3. So things don't go so crazy. Okay, so 0.3 will be a bit better. So now compile and press play. You will see that the glute has physics. If I kind of stop, it's a bit hard to see, but it has physics. Now, what you can do is also, of course, maybe increase this a bit more. Play around. But if I stop, as you can see, the character kind of wiggles, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty cool. And there we go. We have enabled the jiggle physics from the GTA 6 trailer into our Unreal Engine 5 game in literally only a couple of minutes. And it is super, super easy.
remember that at any time you can just customize the values here from the spring nodes and that's it if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are serious about learning unreal engine 5 make sure to join my unreal club where you can download over 800 project files from all my tutorials enter in exclusive meetings with experts and much much more and now yes with that said bye bye